Hello, Reapers. How it feels to chew five gum. Stimulate your senses. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video of Drove. We are in the man cave, the manliest of man caves. We have a we have a campfire. We have beds that are clearly too small, but that's not the point. The point is nothing because <laughs> that's always the point with Trove. So we're gonna go into Shadow Tower today. This is what I've been doing on Trove for the past uh, probably two or three days. And for those of you who were actually asking me how I was making my flux, this is basically how, except I was doing it last week, so it was Spike Walker, but uh, I was doing Shadow Tower and I found out for myself that Weeping seems to be the best. I don't know if I'm forgetting dungeons from other towers, but It just seems like weeping is the best for this week. I could be wrong about that. But anyway, it doesn't matter, but So yeah, this is basically what I've been doing. It's it's pretty much running towers I'm not using keys. The whole point of this is actually getting stellar drops, which obviously, you know, that's RNG, but you could also use keys, which I don't really use. Now, the reason why I went to normal as opposed to like hard is because for some reason I tend to get luckier in normal. I don't know why. Like I tend to get a lot more stellar drops in normal as opposed to hard. I don't know if that's like a, if it's just me getting lucky or if the game's just being weird. <coughs> mm. Hello, <laughs> friend request. Uh, this is mainly the reason why I like this one. It, it's the second one. It has a lot of elite enemies and usually I'll get a stellar every two to four runs. I don't know something about that. Like I said, it's RNG so it's not like you can really gauge these things unless I did like an average which I, you know, I don't even keep track of that. But anyway, who cares about all that and this is probably going to be like make for a boring video, but oh well, might get Stellars here and there, you know, because Stellars are going to be like the best thing that's ever happened because when I'm adventuring, I get like bad drops, but since this is Shadow Tower, I'm going to get all the best drops in the world just because, you know, Shadow Tower. Does this one have a lot of enemies? This might be the one. Yeah, I don't know what's the uh, red beam above enemies. I updated the because I'm not using steam so, so it doesn't auto update but the mini boss thing I, I think it's the mini boss uh, beacon mod that's doing that I don't know why it's doing that like what that's supposed to actually indicate but <coughs> mm. oh I've been hearted but guess what haha -ha! the hard phone doesn't affect me <laughs> no red name for me because that's just how the uh, thing you know that's how the that's how the contests work fortunately unfortunately kind of but it's like fortunate for me because I don't like red names so whatever I don't even know if they have the hard phone contest anymore they might have gotten rid of that in which case hard phones are kind of useless but whatever I don't even know if the devs could actually like change it you know what I mean to where people with golden names would actually be affected because like I said, the only reason why we're not being affected is because for some reason, uh, contest, like, if it's from the contest, it doesn't really overwrite the player, if that makes any sense. But let's do, uh, go to world team pixel. And this is basically what I do when I get to the last dungeon. I don't even bother with the boss because I don't have a key. So I'll just go to team pixel and then every time I, oops, <laughs> I've got to put a space. <clears throat> Team Pixel with a space, there we go, but every time I get to the last arena, I'll do that, and then every time after that, I'll do enter up enter, and that's pretty much what I'll do. Let's do a hard and see if I can even, <laughs> can I click the button? Yes, I can. I don't know why I couldn't click it. My, my hand, you know, I got hand problems apparently. So let's see if I actually get better drops from this. 
I don't like I, I'm being stupid and I don't actually have a timer on me so I don't even know how long this is going to be or how long it takes me to do these but you know it's only a uh, normal hard it, it's not that long since I kind of basically one shot everything kind of <laughs> as you can see so uh, the first one's not as good I, I still think last week is better I could be wrong but whatever uh, elite enemies, you know, as long as you have elite enemies, it's still good, and this is also good on Friday. I really should be taking more advantage of Friday's, uh, boost. I was gonna say buff. I couldn't, I couldn't decide whether or not I was gonna say buff or boost, but, yeah, I really should be taking advantage of Friday, and I should be getting more keys, but if I did that, I would do normal, because for some reason, if we go over to the, uh, no, that's not where you make the keys, I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, we need the key mold, which was, which is actually in the boss room, I, I think. It's also in the lobby, but Shadow Keys takes 50, while uh, Moon and Eclipse, I believe, takes, uh, not 60, uh, they take 200, I, I believe. It it's just really weird to me that they both take the same. It kills from 50 to 200 pretty much instantly. I don't know, it's just weird. And the funny thing is, I still no fragment, like, can't confirm, too rare. <laughs> you know, if this was the uh, Dino Dragon, I would have already had the... I, I would have pretty much already had one fragment for how long I've been grinding, but... Since you don't see these guys that often, it, it's just, you know, you don't, you're not gonna get anything. You, you just won't. I think a friend actually got one fragment, but that's pretty much it. Like, he hasn't gotten that much uh, other than that. Is this the last one? No, this isn't the last one. I keep forgetting. I'm in the habit of a Spike Walker because it was like, uh, what was Spike Walker? It was, the. Uh, the, the two cursed skulls, for some reason it's a dungeon that has two cursed skulls, and then it's like, uh, the next two dunge dungeons are the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're the same, so, uh, th that always confused me, because I'm like, wait, am I on the last one? Am I uh, not? I don't know. Sometimes these guys don't drop anything, like, I don't know if they don't count as a, a like, as an elite mob, or what's actually happening, but... They just don't always drop, which is odd. I'm actually surprised that I haven't gotten a stellar drop yet. Because usually, I would have gotten one by now. <coughs> mm. I need water. It's been a while since I've drank water. And by a while, I mean like two hours. Which, <laughs> whoop de do. I guess to some people, two hours without water is like a lot, right? So now that we have done that, let's do enter up, enter, and go back to the club, and I guess we'll do one more run, just because why not? To be honest, this might be a really short video, because I don't think it's taking that long to actually do this, but let's do normal, voice crack there, that was lovely. So normal, hard, normal. <laughs> this is going to be lo lovely. Kind of stopped a voice crack there, I don't know why. My voice doesn't uh, like talking, apparently. Just doesn't. Nothing does. <laughs> Okay, for some reason I thought there was a, a boss there. I don't know why, but whatever. Did I? Okay, I did get drops. For some reason, sometimes it doesn't seem like I get drops, even though I do. Like, I don't see the drops, but that's because I'm holding E all the time. Yeah, like this snail guy, he doesn't actually count as an elite enemy, I don't think, because he doesn't drop anything. And if they don't drop anything, I don't think they have a chance for the fragment. At least I, I, I don't know if that's how that works. That seems like it would. Probably not, though. I have been deconstructing my gear. I probably am close to max right now. Let's check. Like, oh yeah, 89. I think the max I can hold right now is like 90 something, like 94. Because I have uh, some things in my inventory. My last uh, slot is almost full, actually. I think it's like 30. Well, I could check right now, but <laughs> besides guessing, not that it matters. Yeah, 36 out of 50. Oops. You know, why doesn't it face you towards the portal? Like, that's kind of weird. It's a gear over there. I don't care. Get all the stuff. You know, I would have thought that would have gotten at least one stellar. I mean, it, it's not, you know, when you're doing this for like as long as I do, which is like an hour or two hours, you, you really do get flux. And like I said, this is totally 
RNG dependent whether or not I actually get a lot of stuff, but usually I do, as in like flux, but it is what it is, <laughs> I guess. So there's one more arena, or dungeon actually, and then pretty much that. Chaos Codex, that always confuses me ever since they changed it so it's like the legendary drop sound or super rare, but anyway, what I'm using is, I know this is like really late in the video, but I'm using the Hungry Heart Dragon Hatchling, which has the most magic find in the game, which gives 10 more magic find to lucky XP, and nice. Uh, 10 more magic find to people who have patron, because that gives 5 more, but... And then also we have this subclass, which is 70 more, so I have a total of 4.2k. So the thing is, I, I believe you can get almost 5k magic find, because you can... I, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if any club can get to level 10, but... You can get the magic find fixture, which goes, the you know, it gives you 200 magic find at level 3, which if you have patron, actually gives you 400, so that's 400 right there. And then I'm actually missing 3 dragons, which is another 300, so that would be a lot. That would get me really close, if not to 5k. Like, I don't know the exact number, but that would definitely help in getting stellars. That would be really nice, actually. I also don't know why, but uh, every single time I log in, uh, Team Pixel is actually number 5, although, well, even though it's technically number 1, and I can change it by deactivating the chats and then reactivating them in whatever slot, but it, it, it's not permanent. Like, I, I don't know why it does that. Someone said you can resolve it by, I think, leaving a club and then doing all that, but I don't want to do that. It's unnecessary. So I like the old system, you know, where you could just drag and drop uh, clubs where you wanted them to be. But anyway, uh, sorry if this video is really short, but I'm going to stop it right here. Can I go here? No, I can't. Well, like, technically. Can I go just enough off to where... Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I wanted to go just enough off to where I wasn't taking damage. Why are these, like... Oh, I was going to say trees. They're not trees. <laughs> they kind of look like it from above. But anyway, I'm going to stop the video right here, guys. So, in the next episode, I'll do more adventuring. I don't know who I'm going to do the adventuring with. I might actually do more Shadow Towers. I don't know, but... You know... Actually, technically, Shadow Towers is more beneficial because I'm getting, I'm actually getting a lot more flux out of it. I don't know how much flux I had at the beginning of the video. Probably just under 100k, probably like 98, but it's a lot, you know? It, it, definitely a lot more flux doing this in a short amount of time than actually adventuring. So, with that being said, guys, see you later and goodbye.